For me, Radcliffe means fellowship. Fellowship in the sense of community. That the group of people who come here who are from all different walks of life in a very literal sense and being able to form bonds to understand more about what we do but also who we are. My project for this year, I've been writing a book called Born Translated, the contemporary novel in an age of world literature. I came to Radcliffe actually to understand the genesis of heavy elements. One of the projects I applied to, to work on is a play called Victoria Sarah about a young West African girl who ended up being raised in Queen Victoria's court. We use ideas from biology very often to design systems in computer science as a source of inspiration. During my Radcliffe year, what I was hoping to do was see if we can contribute back to biology in understanding biological systems better. I've been interested in pursuing a radical alternative in which the Big Bang is a big bounce rather than a beginning. It's an attempt to give a general theoretical account of human rights. I've been studying what is popularly known as the sharing economy, things like Airbnb, um, Lyft, relay rides. I came to Radcliffe because I was looking for a fabulous place to work, and I found it. On any one particular day, I could interview people for my book, I could go do research at the Schlesinger Library, I could work with my research partners, I could have a conversation with one of my colleagues, so an astrophysicist to the left and a humanist to the right and a poet across the hall. Every week we have two presentations by fellows. You know, it has been really since my undergraduate days that I've been able to hear talks about black holes or computer science. Rarely do you get an opportunity as an adult to learn deeply and learn about things you didn't think you were going to be interested in, but it turns out you're fascinated about. This year at Radcliffe has just been really, really a tremendous surprise and an education for me. To come here and interact with filmmakers, playwrights, musicians, there's so much more about even my own research that I've learned from questions that people have asked me. I think in academia there's always intense pressures towards specialization. And one of the great things that an interdisciplinary center like the Radcliffe can achieve is to challenge that. The research partners, I've never come across anything quite in that constellation where you would have undergraduates who are not just your research assistants but your partners. They bring the eyes of undergraduates, but the research skill of graduate students. It's been a terrific uh, year. I had fairly ambitious plans for what I was trying to accomplish this year, and I think that uh, for the most part that I exceeded them. This has given me an opportunity to, to just actually breathe and be an artist and be still and imagine. I began to think more about how does the work that I do have an impact on the world at large? How do I try to pick problems that are important? But all of us, whether we were artists or social scientists or humanities people, we're in the truth business. And it's important to realize that there are different ways to get at those truths.